you know, we could use an infrared telescope tuned to see the edge of the universe And that same infrared would enable us to find planets. I mean, this is the biggest mission, biggest pure science mission that NASA has ever undertaken. Imagine peering into the dusty photo albums of the universe. That's what the James Webb Space Telescope is doing. But instead of faded pictures, it's capturing light from galaxies billions of years old. Since blasting off in 2021, James Webb has been making incredible discoveries that are shaking up our understanding of the cosmos, especially the early days. So this telescope was tuned to see the birth of galaxies in the universe. We're talking about a time period a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, nicknamed the Cosmic Dawn. This era is like the universe's awkward teenage phase, when everything was just starting to take shape. And so we're seeing the very beginnings of, as you said, Neil, really the beginnings of, of the universe. James Webb is showing us that these early galaxies were surprisingly grown up for their age. Here's the mind-blowing part. James Webb has spotted galaxies that formed within the first billion years after the Big Bang. This light has been traveling for almost 13.8 billion years to reach us, basically acting like a time machine. It's letting us see the universe when it was just a wee little sprout, less than 7% of its current size. But here's the twist. These early galaxies aren't the simple, messy blobs of stars scientists expected. James Webb's observations show they already had complex structures like swirling disks and central bulges, which usually form much later. This unexpected maturity is forcing scientists to rethink everything they thought they knew about the young universe. It suggests that star formation and galaxy growth happened way faster than previously imagined. Imagine the universe going from zero to 60 in the blink of an astronomical eye. Finding heavy elements like carbon and oxygen in these galaxies is another surprise. These elements are usually cooked up inside stars and scattered around by exploding stars. Their presence hints at a super-fast star cycle in the early universe, with stars forming living fast and dying young, spewing out the ingredients for the next generation. JWST's discoveries are rewriting the history of the cosmos. They're forcing us to confront the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy and question how galaxies really come together. It's like finding a whole new chapter in the story of the universe, one that's full of twists and turns we never saw coming. So JWST isn't just giving us amazing snapshots of the early universe, it's also throwing some serious shade at our current understanding of how galaxies formed. Remember that theory about galaxies slowly merging over billions of years? James Webb is out there finding full-grown galaxies just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The traditional view was that dark matter's gravity slowly pulled in gas, which then clumped together to form stars and galaxies. But James Webb's discoveries suggest this whole process happened way faster, with stars forming, galaxies swirling, and even merging at a much more rapid pace. It's like the universe hit the fast-forward button in its early days. This has scientists scrambling to rewrite the textbook on galaxy formation. They need to figure out how gas chilled out and turned into stars so quickly, and how these early galaxies managed to bulk up so fast. It's possible there are even new physical laws at play in the young universe that we haven't even considered yet. Another head-scratcher is the presence of heavy elements in these early galaxies. Normally, these elements are cooked up inside stars and scattered around by exploding stars. But if these galaxies are so young, how did they have time to make all that metal? The answer seems to be that the first generation of stars, called Population 3 stars, were total rock stars. They lived fast and died young, churning out heavy elements at an incredible rate. This quick star cycle would have seeded the galaxies with the building blocks for the next generation of stars, potentially accelerating the whole process of galaxy growth. James Webb isn't just making amazing discoveries, it's also highlighting the gaps in our knowledge. Astronomers are now working on revamping their theories to account for this faster, more furious early universe. They need to understand how these monster stars formed so quickly and how they managed to enrich their galaxies with heavy elements so early on. And this is where things get exciting. James Webb is just getting started, and future observations from this powerful telescope and others could provide the key evidence we need. 
Imagine directly seeing the light from the very first stars or witnessing the birth of a galaxy in real time. Well, almost real time. The light would still take billions of years to reach us. These observations would be a game changer, helping us rewrite the story of the universe's grand history. But James Webb isn't just a history buff, it's also looking towards the future. By studying these early galaxies, astronomers can gain insights into how galaxies like our own Milky Way eventually formed and evolved. Understanding the universe's past can help us unlock the mysteries of its present and future, potentially revealing how our own cosmic neighborhood came to be and where it's headed. The journey to understanding the cosmos is full of surprises, and James Webb Telescope is proving to be a powerful guide. It's like having a cosmic translator, helping us decipher the faint whispers of light from across the universe and piece together the incredible story of our existence. As we delve deeper into the data and refine our theories, we can expect even more mind-blowing discoveries that will reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. James Webb's Space Telescope's discoveries are rewriting the history book of the cosmos, and some of the most mind-bending revelations concern the universe's first stars and the invisible influence of dark matter. Let's take a trip back to a time just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Here, the first stars, known as Population 3 stars, were the real game-changers. Their lifespan was a cosmic blink of an eye, mere millions of years, but their deaths were spectacular supernova explosions that scattered the universe's first heavy elements, the building blocks for future generations of stars. These Population 3 stars were the universe's first chefs, whipping up the ingredients for the grand cosmic banquet to come. But how did these monster stars form so quickly? That's where dark matter steps in. This invisible substance, making up most of the universe's matter, is like the scaffolding in a construction project. We can't see it directly, but its gravity acts like a guiding force, pulling in gas and dust to form the cradles where stars can ignite. James Webb's findings suggest that dark matter structures materialized surprisingly fast after the Big Bang, providing the perfect nurseries for these massive stars to be born. Think about it like this. The way stars form today is a complex process, influenced by the presence of elements like carbon and oxygen and the dynamic smash-ups of galaxies. But in the early universe, it was a much more straightforward story. Dark matter's gravity played the starring role, pulling everything together and the explosive deaths of Population 3 stars scattered the essential ingredients for the next chapter of the universe's story. James Webb is like a cosmic detective, meticulously examining the evidence from this early era. The fingerprint of heavy elements left behind hints at the existence of these giant stars, and the early formation of galaxies strengthens the case for dark matter's critical role. By studying these ancient fingerprints, we can begin to unravel the great cosmic whodunit, how the universe transformed from a dark and empty void into the one teeming with galaxies like our Milky Way. It's a story being rewritten with every observation from JWST, one exploding star and one invisible scaffold at a time. By studying these early galaxies, astronomers can glean crucial insights into how galaxies like our own eventually formed and evolved. Understanding the universe's past can unlock the mysteries of its present and future, potentially revealing how our own cosmic neighborhood came to be and where it's headed. The journey to understanding the cosmos is riddled with surprises, and James Webb is proving to be a powerful guide, helping us decipher the faint whispers of light from across the universe and piece together the incredible story of our existence. As we delve deeper into the data and refine our theories, we can expect even more mind-blowing discoveries that will reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. After all, the universe is a never-ending story, and JWST is just giving us the front row seat to the greatest cosmic show of all time.